wanted to do a rant and rave video for you. I haven't done one in quite some time, so I wanted to kind of show you guys a product that I have been trying out for a couple of weeks now and let you know my thoughts on it. But first things first, um, if you've noticed that I'm a little bit nasally and my eyes look a little puffy, I am recovering from a cold, so please just kind of try and ignore that throughout the video. Um, I wanted to get a video out for you guys and I wanted to film, I've been dying to film, but this is like the most my voice has been all week, so just try and bear with me if you can. So the product that I'm going to be raving about today is the CoverGirl Outlast Stay Fabulous 3-in-1 Foundation. And I just recently purchased this about two weeks ago, and I've been wearing it pretty consistently just to kind of see how it wears throughout the day and what it ends up looking like and how long it lasts for and all that stuff. So this product claims to have an all-day flawless coverage, lasting power of a primer, coverage of a concealer, and blendability of a foundation, and it is also supposed to be shine-free. Now, to start off with kind of like the bad things, I guess, about this foundation, I had originally purchased number 855, which is Soft Honey, and I purchased this because I am quite darker than what I was in the beginning of the summer, I guess, and I've gotten quite tan, so I figured that I would get a darker shade to kind of complement and match everything on my body. But unfortunately, I found out that this foundation does oxidize, and normally I don't have a problem with that at all, but I found that throughout the day, pretty much like after maybe like an hour and a half, two hours, it did get about a half a shade darker than what I had expected, so I did end up getting actually a quite lighter shade, and I used the two and mixed them and whatnot, but I ended up getting 842, which is medium beige. And I have that one on today, and as you can see, it does match pretty well. I don't know if you can really see my chest area, but it does match um, my chest area. It has gotten a little bit darker since I've applied it, and I've only had it on for about an hour, so... Just to kind of forewarn you, you might want to get a lighter shade than what you originally think just because it might oxidize on you. So to get on to the pros about this product, the first thing is that it has a pump. And the pump does lock, so you just have to turn it and it will unlock so you can pump out the product. Which is something that I really, really like and I'm so glad that they decided to do this. The next thing is the lasting power of a primer. I'm not too positive how it works without a primer because I always tend to wear primers underneath my foundation. But honestly, this product does last all day. The longest I've worn it is 8 hours, which is usually how long I wear my foundations for if I do wear a foundation throughout the day. And I did find that this lasted all day, and I didn't notice any kind of breakdown of the foundation. I normally get breakdown right in between my eyebrows because I tend to get really oily there. But I did not notice anything with this foundation, which was great. And the other thing is the coverage of a concealer. Now, I do notice that it really does um, conceal redness very, very well, and I normally don't have to really put on much more concealer when I do wear this foundation. The only thing is if that you have like a pimple or whatever, you might want to just add a tiny, tiny bit more concealer just so it doesn't peek through. Like I had to do that right here, but honestly, it does a really great job at concealing. And I have not tried this like under the eye area because I normally don't put foundation under there because what I normally end up doing is just putting a lighter concealer so that it brightens up the under eye area. And also for the shine free claim that this foundation has, it honestly is shine free. Like this foundation is amazing. It has a beautiful kind of like powdery finish and it's very matte. So I was a little bit skeptical to see how this would um, pan out throughout the day. And normally throughout the summer I get very oily in my T-zone and I have not noticed any oil breakthrough while wearing this foundation. It stays very, very soft and just that very matte finish and I don't notice any shine when I come back home or check my face in the mirror or anything. It just does a very great job at living up to that claim. So overall I think that this is a great foundation and I would highly recommend it for you guys. And like I said, just remember to get a shade or two lighter than what you normally would just because it might oxidize on you. If you don't find that you have that problem then that's great but I normally don't and this oxidized on me so just kind of a little forewarning but other than that if you like a really kind of matte and very lightweight finish I would highly highly recommend this product. Okay guys, so I hope that you found this video to be helpful and thank you for putting up with my nasally sounding self. And um, please make sure to follow me on Facebook and Twitter as always those links are down below. And also check out my blog which also I have linked down below. Okay guys, I will talk to you all soon.